Welcome to the BP Mindcast. I'm Jonathan Bartlett, your host. These podcasts cover a wide variety of topics from a conservative academic viewpoint. Some you'll find interesting, some you won't. Hopefully I plan on keeping these short enough that you can easily enjoy what you like, and hopefully I won't keep you too long for those that you don't. Today I wanted to talk about um, a new book that I have coming out pretty soon that I'm excited about. It is the book Electronics for Beginners um, by me, Jonathan Bartlett. And uh, this book uh, is actually the product of several years of effort. Um, and I'm, I, I just got the, uh, the pre-final PDFs from the publisher um, just yesterday, and uh, they're looking pretty nice. It's gonna be, uh, with the indexes and everything, it's probably gonna be over 500 pages. Um, and as I said, it's, it's taken a lot of uh, time and effort, but I think it's gonna be worth it overall. Uh, this, uh, this project came from a personal frustration of mine when I was uh, younger. I tried to find an electronics book uh, to learn electronics from. And uh, basically what I found was that most electronics books were one of two things. Either first they were a projects book, um, which means they literally told you what components to buy and where to place them, but didn't tell you anything about how it actually worked. Um, the other option was that they gave you um, books that were basically for um, advanced engineers. So basically they would have a lot of uh, 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 calculus-based math. Um, in fact, they would focus on the math and not anything else. And you would be left, there, there wouldn't be anything in there about how to put circuits together or how to think about circuits just on the mathematics of electricity. And those were kind of the only two things that I, I really found growing up. Uh, there weren't any books um, that really told you how things worked. There, were, there was actually one set of books, it was the Engineer's Notebook uh, by Forrest Mims that kind of told you how the individual components worked. They gave you a little bit of information on putting together small circuits, but again, it didn't give you a lot of context on how you might put those together into a, a, a bigger project. There were kind of little, uh, little mini notes and you kind of left wondering, well, where would I use this and why and how? And uh, so the, the situation is a little bit better today. Um, uh, Make has an electronics book that's not terrible, um, but still, I didn't. I, I still felt that the uh, the ground for people who were serious about it, serious about getting started, um, but um, didn't want to have a graduate course in uh, uh, imaginary number calculations, uh, needed a spot. Uh, for 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 a book, and so um, so that's why I created electronics for beginners. It's not so beginnerish that you don't learn anything. Like I really feel like at the end of it, you should be able to put together uh, some ba some some actually pretty substantial circuits um, that actually do things. You can you can be able to read schematics and know, oh yeah, this is what this resistor is doing in the schematic. Because what I found is that sometimes they told you like you know, a resistor um, resists the flow, flow of electricity. And they might give you Ohm's law that teaches you how to calculate that, but they wouldn't tell you why you might use a resistor or if you found a resistor, what it might be doing. And I actually found that there's basic patterns that get used over and over and over again uh, by, electronics, uh, uh, by, by electronics designers. And these basic patterns are literally everywhere. And there's only, there's only four of them. Um, and so I, I taught, in the book, I teach these patterns uh, that you can use, and once you know the patterns, it's really easy to look at a circuit and say, "Oh yeah, this is this is this is what they're doing here." And um, so, it basically, covers uh, not only um, it, it covers it from a practical standpoint. Not um, there, it does cover theory. It actually has math, um, but it doesn't go overboard on either one of them. It, and it relates each thing that you do to how it might wind up being useful to you in the long run. Why does the theory affect the practice? And so it, it goes through, um, um, it goes through, you know, all of your typical components. Um, it tells you how to put them onto a breadboard. Uh, there's lots of pictures, uh, lots of, um, lots of explanation, um, and then lots of questions at the end to help you start thinking about electronics. So I'm really excited about this book, Electronics for, Be for Beginners. Um, I hope I think it's going to be out pretty quickly. Um, as I said, they, they were showing me the, the pre-final PDFs and they looked great. Um, and so I'm really excited for that coming out. 
So I hope you enjoyed your time on VP Mindcast. Until next time, keep thinking. Thank you.